Let's get to the sports time. talk. Right around dinner, the fireworks well underway like they were at Lake Compounds right across the street where Woj hung out as a car key. And he'll be here at 6 p.m. tomorrow breaking all this news. What, what Charles Wilson is to the Gap Band, Adrian Wojnarowski is to NBA drum, uh, bomb droppings. Uh, that, it happened on Saturday while I was driving to work, so I missed all that action. But when I got to work, I got caught up. And you've been saying Kemba Walker to the Celtics, right? That, that's going to happen. That's four years, 141. You said Clay Thompson as well, max deal with Golden State. That'll happen again uh, as well on Sunday. Let's go to Kyrie Irving. Yeah, Kemba, Boston, going to sign him tomorrow uh, to a contract. Uh, yeah, four years, $141 million because Charlotte – didn't want to get him any type of money to stay, so he went to Boston, who gave him close to a max contract, and he took it, and he have a, he have a new home. And, you know, you got you got to pay your players if you want to make your team be successful. I don't think Michael Jordan want to be successful because he let his star player walk instead of paying him. So the team could be better. Now it's like they got to build around Mal Bridges and, and uh, Kaminsky. They, they just like the team all over the place. They don't have Kimber Walker there no more. And uh, Kyrie, Kyrie, he going to uh, to the Nets. We assume Brooklyn was going to be the place, is it? Yeah, he's going to meet with Brooklyn. Uh, on Sunday when Francie opens at 6 p.m. and both sides are motivated to quickly get a deal done. Four years, $141 million max. And then if, when they get Kyrie Irving locked in, then they, the Nets will turn their attention to try to deliver Kevin Durant with him. Wow. Um, of course, the Nets already had D'Angelo Russell who had a nice year. It was a fun team to watch. They were scrappy. They played hard. Um, of all your tweets today, that was one that kind of I think people were really interested in and, and got a lot of people's attention. Yeah, this is, you know, this isn't an easy decision for the Nets. D'Angelo Russell has come become an all-star yeah. there, and he got them to the playoffs. And he's younger, and he's healthier, but uh, he is going to head somewhere else if Kyrie Irving is a net. Two ways. One, he's a restricted free agent now. The Nets would either renounce. So whoever... Get D'Angelo Russell. That's gonna be a good pickup. He had a great season last year. He's an All Star point guard. So whoever get him, it'll be a great pickup for him. Him and he becomes unrestricted, or to help him get to a place he might want to go, a place that doesn't have cap space, they can work a sign and trade. But the Lakers, as soon as 6 o'clock rolled around today and they were able, uh, Rob Palenka called his agents uh, to set up uh, a meeting, mm -hmm. try to talk to D'Angelo. Uh, both sides are interested in a potential reunion. Do you think it'll happen? Like a, how much probability factor is that, do you think? Well, it's too hard to read right now. Well, certainly we know what... We know what plan A is in L.A. That's Kawhi Leonard. Right. But if, if Kawhi Leonard doesn't go to the Lakers, if you. he's off the board, I think D'Angelo Russell is right there. Another team to watch with D'Angelo Russell, either if they create space or try to work a sign and trade, mm -hmm. the Minnesota Timberwolves. Ooh, that would be interesting. Yeah, he's a cool player. He just, he just he seemed to fit with... I, I like that. He go to Minnesota with Wiggins and Towns. That'd be a young, big three. I like that. If he land in Minnesota, that would be a great pickup for them. A good one, a good one. That'd be a young core. That'd be a uh, that'd be a dynamic duel in Minnesota. And now he might be out the door. Jimmy Butler's been kind of in the weeds. We haven't talked a lot about him. Obviously, Kawhi's the headline and Durant. Uh, what's up with Jimmy Butler? Well, he has wanted a five-year max deal mm -hmm. from Philadelphia. It remains to be seen whether he's going to be offered that. In the interim, teams like Miami, Houston, who do not have salary cap space, who right. need to do a sign-and-trade with Philadelphia, uh, uh, want, are going to meet with Butler this week. I'm told that Butler is in Miami. He's going to meet with the Heat tomorrow. And then from there, he, he could go out to L.A. Not ruled out the, a, a willingness to help him with a sign-and-trade if they were unable to come to terms on a contract yet. But 
I think the two sides are still talking Philadelphia and Jimmy Butler. All right, so Kawhi's obviously the hardest guy to read in the league, poker face uh, and, and all. It seems like Toronto's getting more unlikely by the day. Maybe not. We'll see. And Kevin Durant also, you spoke you through a few things out there with Durant. Could Kawhi and KD now team up? Well, Ramona Shelburne and I reported earlier today that they've been talking. And they've been talking over recent weeks, days. Uh, there are a couple scenarios where their interests overlap. The Clippers, potentially the Knicks. Now, the Knicks really haven't been a player for Kawhi Leonard, but certainly the, the Clippers are. Um, there are a lot of there are a lot of scenarios in play for both of those guys. It is probably still more unlikely than likely, but the fact remains, you know, two are probably the best three or four players in the world have discussed the possibility of playing together, wow. um, but I'm not sure right now that there's any traction out of it. Experian is launching something revolutionary. Right now, you can raise your credit scores instantly with Experian Boost. Particular team that they're ready to line up to play for, but the conversation's been ongoing. So are players like with their agents all, all through the night? Do they do they get together? They not get together? Like what's what's gonna tonight deal? I think uh, Durant. I think he's going to Brooklyn with Kyrie. That's what I think. And uh, I just heard Ky, uh, Kawhi strongly want to go to the LA team up with LeBron and AD. Uh, that'd be a new super team. Uh, Lakers is gonna be back contending for a championship, and uh, and uh, yeah, and likely he ain't going back to Toronto. So he leaning towards Los Angeles. Like, are they gonna be up late tonight, waiting for tomorrow six p.m. or get up early tomorrow? I think the agents and players have put it to bed tonight. Okay, but there's no question. They're if they're not physically together, they're on the phone 15, 20 times a day, driving each other crazy. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a night it's going to be. Again, 6 o'clock Sunday. Check out Sports Center when stuff starts to roll in. Woj will deliver the news. Leonard discussing their future. Woj and Ramona Shelburne, I know, is also breaking it. So just to set up uh, what you're going to be talking about, it's the fact that there are two clear possibilities for these two to play for the same franchise. The Clippers and the New York Knicks and Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant have been discussing free agent scenarios in recent days, weeks, uh, opportunities for them to possibly find some common ground in free agency. There are a lot of scenarios for both players. Uh, Kevin Durant could stay in Golden State. He could potentially go to Brooklyn where Kyrie Irving is likely to end up. And, and certainly Kawhi Leonard, he's got meetings with uh, the Raptors where he just won an NBA championship, the two Los Angeles teams, and also the Knicks. I, I was reading you, know, you, you guys' report, well, there are two teams that, that, could, that this will really fit with. Detail that, please. Well, both right, right now when you look at who Leonard and Durant are planning to talk to in free agency and teams who have the salary cap space or can easily get it, that's the Knicks and Clippers. And Brooklyn right now, while they do have two max slots and they may have some communication in free agency with Kawhi Leonard, I'm told that that focus would be more toward Irving and Durant if he went there. But the Clippers can, can make a trade, get that second max spot. They have contingencies prepared, and the Knicks are in position to sign two star players. Obviously, this is uh, evocative of the big three. Bosch and LeBron and D-Wade back in the day really started this communication among players forming their own super teams. Given all that these two individuals have accomplished, winning multiple NBA titles, multiple final... Yeah, they... Um, making their own super team. Um, Kawhi and uh, Durant been looking towards the same teams. I don't know what they're saying. It seems like they want to team up together. We got to see them. Uh, I don't think Durant going about to go to state. I don't think Kawhi is going about to Toronto now. Because they both are looking at the same team. So, we got to see. 
VPs. How are their interests aligned and how would that play out with KD sitting out next season? Well, it's unique with both uh, Durant and Leonard. Both have been NBA Finals MVPs multiple times. They've won multiple championships. And ring chasing here. Now, of course they want to win. That's who they are. But I think for both players, market, how an organization is set up, how it is built around them and fulfills the things that they're looking for. And of course, Durant is looking at a, a full year of rehabilitation on that torn Achilles. So lots of factors for both of them. They'll see where, the, where they may have some alignment together. That's what they've talked about. Uh, but you know, these are two players who any scenario that they would like to make happen, players of that magnitude, people would make, might make the case those are the two best players in the NBA, certainly pre-injury with Durant. Um, teams will move mountains to get those two in the city. Can you lay right out together. the market possibilities for us? Because what you're talking about is both coasts. So L.A. and New York, why those would be attractive to these two in particular? Well, beyond, the, beyond money. Yeah, well, right. Kawhi Leonard is from Southern California, and that certainly has appeal to him. Uh, Kevin Durant, uh, listen, he has Oklahoma City to Golden State. And you look at where his list is right now, the teams he's considering, besides Golden State, it's L.A. and New York. And those provide, listen, he's got an outside, he's got outside interests that are comparable to LeBron. LeBron James and having his own media company, his own platform. He's got the boardroom here at ESPN. He's built something beyond the court, and certainly those markets are helpful with that. But I think both players to winning is important, and they've got to look at those organizations and say, hey, who is set up for us? You have those two together, you're going to be really good. Uh, what organization might be able to give them everything they want in what marketplace? Lots of options for both of them. As we keep an eye on those guys, whether they end up together or separate, there's some more guys we're watching. Kimball Walker, Kyrie Irving facing crucial choices. Uh, take us through through that. Start with, with Clay Thompson, all the, the other K's as they line up. What do you expect to happen with them? Well, as we reported yesterday, Clay Thompson is going to go into free agency with a five-year, $190 million offer from the Warriors. He and his agent had told them that's what it was going to take to resign him, to keep him out, keep him away from taking meetings. Clay Thompson and the Warriors will have a deal very quickly on Sunday night. So we yeah, the Warriors not gonna let Clay slip through their fingers. They gonna give him that money. So when for to hit, there is no question asked. He's gonna get that money from them and keep him there because that's where he want to be. That's where he want to retire at, as a Warrior. One guy is going to go. <laughs> That's it. What about Kemba? Kemba, Boston. Uh, Boston's prepared four years, $141 million. They can still move some money around to get that max slot from him. He has moved on from Charlotte. Those two will get together on Sunday night as soon as they can at 6 p.m. Kemba Walker is on his way to the Celtics. And Kyrie? Not quite as finalized, but his focus is on Brooklyn. He would like to get Durant there to play with him. Uh, but... Brooklyn is still engaged with D'Angelo Russell. That is not in stone. Brooklyn's plan all along were two stars. It was not Kyrie Irving as a solo act. The plan was, let's bring in two. And so that's what they're focused on right now, uh, using Kyrie to help get another big player in with them. Might they consider now, you know, with, with what we're hearing, Durant and Kawhi? Well, they and, I mean, moving off the, the point guards and... and <laughs> Listen, if, if Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard said they want to come play for your team, you, you'll sign right up for it. But I'm told the focus for Durant and Brooklyn, and, and you look at where Kawhi's interests are, uh, it's more Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant there. Uh, Kawhi, I think Kawhi's focus in free agency all along has been the Clippers, and it's been Toronto. Now that the Lakers have the cap space, that's a conversation he can have with them. Wow. Yeah. Fun. This is great. All right, well, don't go any. Okay. I hope you brought like a sleeping bag. Yeah. Right? You're, <laughs> you're not sleeping, are you? And a lantern. <laughs>